So, folks, I welcome you to Helm's Deep Baby Edition. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we're gonna survive this. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys hey, another episode of Swarm Z. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today, we are gonna finally finish this campaign. We are on the last level. This is Forest, and there are. 55,000 zombies that are about to come barreling down on a pretty non-existent camp here. So, we're gonna have to build the ultimate zombie fort here. So, this is not wrapping up the series. I'm still gonna do some custom battles that you guys uh, actually suggest down in the comments. So, if you guys have a budget or any type of units you wanna use, let me know down there. Also, while you're down there, maybe hit that thumbs up button and let's protect this baby. All right, so we're gonna go with the method that I've been using quite a bit. We've got the baby bunker. It's uh, too high. Actually, I think I could do another layer here. Well, I can almost do another layer. You know, it's weird where they place this baby bunker or the baby, uh, the bunkers here. Yeah, they got these, uh, these tents right beside them and they actually provide a little bit of cover, so. That's gonna be that. They've got such a large budget on this. This is what makes the campaign actually kind of easy. Uh, I should probably start budgeting myself. I'm actually gonna have to require you guys to come up with more challenging challenges. Uh, that way we can have some, uh, I guess you could say some better battles here, but we're gonna finish this off here today. So I'm gonna create a whole barrier here, probably two layers thick, and uh, we'll start to stack up our troops. All right, so I have two separate layers here. We'll call this the outside wall. We'll call this the Alamo back here with the baby being, uh, we'll call him Davy Crockett. So uh, basically I'm gonna layer troops all around the outside layer and then we'll do another big layer in the inside. Uh, so I think this is gonna work. I still have $600,000 left. So I've got to go with the ultimate method here. We've got to do the uh, assault rifle wall. All right, we have our two layers of assault rifle. Let's go ahead and stick an RPG on every corner here. That way we cover those. The front's a little bit bigger, so maybe we'll stick one here and maybe one here in the middle. All right, so let's get our snipers up. We're going to stick those on corners once again. Uh, we'll do them like this. Uh, we still have a ton of budget left. This is ridiculous. All right, so maybe we'll do our melee. We'll do uh, katanas around the baby bunker as a last layer of defense here. There we go. All right, I feel like we can do a couple more lines of assault here. I didn't even check to see what the zombies look like. I mean, there's a lot of them, but what types are they? Oh, I see footballers. They run. Uh, I believe the clowns run, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, is there hazmat ones? Yes, there's hazmat over here. Oh, dear. It's a pretty good little army, but I think we're going to be able to hold up. What do you guys think? I think that's a decent base. Let's go ahead and start the battle and brace yourself. All right. Here they come. Come on. You can open fire at any point. Now would be a good time. I guess they're just out of range here. There we go. Snipers are opening fire. Waiting for the assault. Wow, you guys really waited for the last moment. But yeah, this is going to work. I do think they've changed the AI just a bit. They don't filter down as bad. I mean, they used to just line up in one line and just come in and it was rather embarrassing, but man, that looks awesome. Look at that spread. <laughs> All right, we're looking good. So the walkers are coming from the sides. That is a massive walker army there. It's a, a ton of SWAT officers. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, they're getting pretty close to the wall over here, but yeah, it's that assault rifle class. I don't think they're going to be able to get there. You know, I'm actually a little more worried about the walkers, to be honest with you. They are bullet sponges, and they are slowly closing in on the walls here. That right, looks awesome. All right, folks, this has got to be, like, achievement worthy, right? I mean, we're not going to lose anybody on the last battle. At least I don't think we are. Yeah, we're perfectly fine here with our, uh, our baby defense. <laughs> okay. So, I had an idea for Sandbox. I might as well talk about it while we're uh, watching the zombies get mowed away here. A lot of people suggest it kind of like a... It's going to be a big battle, but kind of like a Helm's Deep uh, from Lord of the Rings where it's just one solid wall. And then uh, it's just a massive army coming from one side. I think we might attempt that here. And then they can break through the wall. We'll have like maybe a small keep in the back. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to do that. Hopefully this doesn't glitch out like last time and the baby, uh, we like kill all the zombies and for some reason it doesn't say the baby's safe. 
All right, it is almost over. One side's about to clear out. Uh, <laughs> say goodbye to the, uh, oh, those are walkers on this side. And they're gone. And yeah, there's still a couple things that would make this the ultimate game. Like if you can command units, kind of like an RTS and move them around, or if you can actually be a unit, like I know some of, uh, some of the battle simulators, like Ultimate Battle Simulator lets you do that. That would be really cool for a game like this. Hopefully they maybe have that in the future. All right, here comes uh, another swarm is about to disappear. <laughs> and, uh, oh, yep, that swarm over there of clowns is pretty much gone. This one's pretty much gone. And we're down to the last bit here. Here we go. And boom. Baby safe. Yes. <laughs> so we won the campaign. Did we get like a little congratulations screen? Oh, there we go. Thank you for completing it. Want to see how many zombies your computer can handle? Try sandbox mode. Don't worry, game, we've already done that. And we're about to do it once again. All right, so definitely the best place to do this is the forest map. So the baby is gonna be in the keep here. So we'll have the keep. Uh, I'm gonna build a little uh, barricade around it. We're gonna use the, uh, the big barrier here. And then we're gonna create a huge wall. All right, so I feel like I know what's gonna happen here. So we have our wall. I'm a little bit afraid of the whole fact that the game will not let you fill out the whole map. Like there's a gap here. Does that gap mean zombies are gonna go for it? I don't know yet. Uh, but yeah, I know the army of the dead is gonna attempt to probably filter more towards the middle. So here's the rule. I'm only going to allow one line of assault. We're not going to layer them like we've been doing in the campaign. Uh, I think that's pretty fair. Actually, do we want to do it all at melee? Is that even possible? I mean, it might look cool if we wanted to truly be like a uh, Lord of the Rings experience. <laughs> I guess we could do that. We're using katanas, though. So we would have to stick them in front of the wall for this to be effective. Can we stick them on the edge of the map? Oh, that is really concerning. Yeah, I have a feeling the zombies are going to walk around the wall. Are they that smart? Oh, I can't place them here. All right, I'm going to hope that the zombies can't walk there. So we're going to put a line of katana right in front of the wall here. All right, and we're going to do one more line on the inside wall. I think this will be fair. And then we'll probably put a weaker unit in here. Yeah, we're going to attempt this with all melee. I was thinking about adding assault rifles, but you know what? I want to see a true clash uh, hand on hand. Well, I guess hand on sword or face on sword, whatever you want to call uh, that. But yeah, I want to see the zombies get up close and personal with all the, uh, the soldiers here. All right. And then for the keep, we're going to have one more army set up here. Uh, it's going to be mostly a couple lines of katana here. Uh, I'm hoping that this maybe works. I'm going to spawn in a rather large army. I'm debating. Should we do walkers or, you know what? I think we'll do mid tier runners. That'll probably be the best. We probably need to do one line around the whole thing real quick. There we go. So we'll have probably close to 1,700 humans, something like that, uh, before it's all said and done here. All right, so there's your wall. There is your army. It's time to find our zombie opponent. So let's go runners, uh, maybe firefighters. And boy, there's going to be a lot of them. All right, so that's looking pretty toasty. It's probably going to make my computer cry a little bit. So we have about 190,000 firefighters. Does that seem too much? Maybe we'll cut off just a little bit to get some frames back. So how about 150? That looks pretty good. <laughs> By the way, there's the original camp. That's where we, uh, we hit the baby on the campaign. It's now surrounded by firefighters. All right, here we go. Are we ready? Oh, I still don't have very good frame rate. Oh, 23? No, 17. That's great. All right, here comes the massive army. Oh, they're all turning to the center. Uh, this is not going to be good. So, folks, I welcome you to Helm's Deep Baby Edition. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we're going to survive this. All right, folks, we're getting ready to clash here. The first zombies are getting to the wall. Uh, oh, oh, this looks epic. All right, you know, I really wish I had a unit that mimicked arrows, like something that shot slow. I know the sniper shoots really slow, but the sniper can like take out like five zombies at once. I really wish we had like just a bow and arrow or crossbow person in the game. That'd be kind of cool. All right. Well, the wall's holding. Uh, there's still a ton. Look at this group in the middle. They're slowing each other down. Yeah, you can see it from up here. It looks weird. It looks like a spine or something. All right. 
Well, uh, let's hope our uh, Katana army can hold them off. All right, so I really do think the Katana people have the outside pretty well covered. I'm really worried about that middle, though, because as soon as one of them falls, it's going to kind of create an accordion effect. And, uh, yeah, zombies will start getting through, and they'll start killing the other Katana people. It's like they'll get overwhelmed here. So let's go ahead and start speeding up time. All right, look for any kinks, any kinks in the armor, anything? I don't, I don't know. Is it because they're just so outmatched? Is this actually just going to work and we're going to have a, like a, oh, no, 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 there they go. That's what I was talking about, right there. They broke through. Yeah, they took out the Katana people right in the middle. Oh, dear. How much army do we have left? <laughs> We're so screwed. All right, they've broken through the first layer of the wall. The Telecaster people are... Well, they have no chance. All right. This is not going to end well, I don't think. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, the keep better be ready because they're going to break through the center of the wall here in a second. And uh, it's not going to be good. So let's go ahead and go full speed. Actually, times four here. All right. Oh, they, they're starting to take him out. Okay, they did it all at once. Okay, they're to the next layer. Oh, that's not good. There's still just a sea of red out here. Well, okay, this is about to turn uh, really bad really quick. Oh, look at that. They busted through the wall. All right. Now, the only advantage that they might have, if they quit breaking the wall... And maybe only go for this one little opening. That'd be great. But no, they're still working on the barriers. Oh, this isn't good. All right, they've made it to the army at the keep. Let's hope they can hold them back here. There's still a lot of zombies to go. I mean, they've thinned it out a little bit. But yeah, this would be the time where too bad we couldn't command all these troops that are just standing here to maybe just flank the side of the army and try to slow them down or something. Instead, we have this steady stream just coming towards the middle. All right, time to speed up time. Let's see. Are they going to break through? Wait. They're doing a slow trickle effect here. Uh-oh, I just watched a katana person die. Uh, no, that trickle's getting a little bit thicker. <laughs> oh, no. Look at that. That is insane looking. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, it was nice knowing all the katana people. I mean, we probably took out, I imagine by the time this is all said and done, maybe 40, 50,000? I don't know, was it 180? Maybe a little more than that. Uh, yeah, this isn't good. Oh, they're starting to hit the sides of it. They're trying to come around. Oh, dear. Okay. Just hold in there. Uh, this is going to totally be okay. Everybody's going to survive this and not totally die. I think they're going to get to the corners. Yeah, that's what they're going for. They're swallowing. Oh, that was a big hit. Okay. Yep. We are, uh, we're screwed. Uh, oh, they're in. They're in. No. They've broken into the keep. Oh, there it goes. Baby's dead. <laughs> hey, you know what? I would say we took out a massive chunk of their army. Like, yeah, there's still a ton here in the middle, but I mean, come on. This side was almost covered at one point. So, I mean, it wasn't a bad plan. If anything, I kind of knew they were going to go towards the center there. I probably would have maybe added another layer of katana. Maybe two more to slow them down. But yeah, I don't think there's much we could do there. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Swarm Z. We did finish the campaign here today. Like I said, if you have any suggestions for future episodes, comment below. And we will see you guys next time.